Hi, my name is Laura. When I was 14 years old, I decided to sail around the world on my own. Um, I was 16 when I successfully completed this voyage, so that made me the youngest person to ever do so. Now, today I'm 23 years old, and um, I'm standing right next to Guppy XL. Uh, the moment she's just a drawing and kind of my brainchild. But um, I'm aiming for her to be sailing in about three years. She's 24 meters long, and um, I want to take on board kids and kind of replicate the little parts of my journey. So I want to educate them and teach them some of the life skills that I have learned along my journey. Um, they'll be involved in all aspects of the trip, so they'll be doing the preparation and the cooking and the maintenance, the navigation, watches, sales, provisioning, everything. And uh, through this trip, I wish to achieve some core life skills, like teamwork, responsibility, self-confidence, determination, um, all super important things that I think we're kind of lacking in our current education system. And on board a ship, this is just amazing to do, uh, like I've seen on my journey. So since the ship doesn't exist yet, and I can't take you sailing on it, but I do really wish to share some of my experiences and things that I've learned. I'm going to give you five tips today on how to achieve your own dreams and goals. So here we go. My first tip, um, stick to your goal, um, especially when it's gar getting hard and everything seems to fall apart. All dreams will encounter hard times. Um, after all, if it was all easy, everybody would try it and be super boring. So, of course they were there. Um, but it can be very hard to stick with it. And some people say, oh, well, you know, this is too hard. We'll try this because it'd be much easier. But it won't. Every big dream and every big goal will encounter hard times. And doing something else won't make it easier. So why give up the thing you're currently doing? Um, stay positive. Believe in yourself, even if you don't always feel like that, um, it's worth it. So tip two, uh, take everything step by step. Um, of course it's important to look at the whole picture, um, but that can be very overwhelming and um, yeah, create little tasks and steps for yourself and also celebrate them <laughs> when you have achieved the step or the goal, even if it's just allowing yourself a little piece of chocolate or saying, yay and feeling really content like I usually do. Um, take a moment for yourself. Um, even on my trip I had big um, voyages of like six thousand, more than six thousand miles um, and what I would do is just put it in blocks of 500 miles in my head really because there was nothing there and then when I would reach it I would just say yay and allow myself to eat something yummy since food was rather precious on the boat that for me was a big deal but of course you can create your own little yay moments. That uh, takes me to tip three. Listen to the advice of others but stay yourself and be critical. It's so easy to be overwhelmed with what everybody else is saying um, and you know it's not good to not listen at all and, and be absolutely stubborn like I sometimes do. So I've learned that it's good to listen to the advice of others sometimes. There will always be people saying you can't do it or it's impossible. I know really all about that and I do hope it won't get that bad for you. Um, but they'll be there and there's always lots of people who are more than happy to give their opinion to you even if you didn't ask for it. So yeah, listen but filter it and stay yourself think about why they're saying it and whether that's a valid reason or not. Tip four, make a good plan and organize your project. Don't be afraid or discouraged when things don't according to plan because as I found out a lot of things don't go according to plan. I don't think I've ever really had anything that went exactly according to plan. It just doesn't. That's what plans are for. They're there to be made and then changed. <laughs> Um, but don't think uh, it's changing anyway so we won't make a plan. Um, it's definitely important to make a plan and to organize and structurize what you're doing so you can follow that 
Um, also, don't feel like you failed when something didn't work out. Um, it's not failing, you just found a way that didn't work, like, um, like Thomas Edison said at some stage. He has this nice quote, which, um, how did it go? He said, um, I didn't fail, I just found 10,000 ways that didn't work. That brings me to the last tip of today, tip five. Um, actually, I find this is one of the more important tips and not always that easy. Have fun. Have fun along the journey. Life is a journey, not a destination. You know, we're often spending more time preparing and organizing and working on whatever dream or goal it is we want to achieve than actually doing the thing we're working really hard on. So yeah, it's super important to enjoy that time, to learn from it, to be happy. Um, of course, you can't always enjoy it because there are those hard times. Remember that you, know, you have to stick with and you have to fight through it. And that's definitely not fun. But then getting through it is really fun and really rewarding. So you should do that. So yeah, enjoy whatever it is you're doing. And um, you, know, you need to be a little bit hard on yourself and push yourself. And it's not, it's not like just fun and la di da. Um, but yeah, you should definitely be um, excited or yeah like whatever it is you're doing so um well <laughs> these are my five tips for today i hope you got something out of it and you can of course everybody's got their own way of doing things but i found that these particular things really helped me over the last years to achieve all the things that i wanted to do um and uh, i certainly hope they will help you as well so Thanks for watching.